with me I have former Heisman Trophy winner and Super Bowl MVP, Mr. Desmond Howard. How are you? Fine, I'm good. I'm a big football fan. We do a, a football website, but I am a big college football fan. I'm a Florida Gators fan. So tell me what your thoughts are on the new hire. Well, I think it's an interesting hire. I think that obviously Will Muschamp, he brings a, a defensive background with him. You know, he was supposedly the coach in waiting in Austin, but I guess he got tired of waiting. <laughs> That's what that whole thing is to me. It's garbage. But anyway, so I think that um, I think it's a pretty good hire. I'm curious to see what he does on offense side of the ball. I think defensively, you're going to be pretty good. Offense, I want to see who, you know, who's going to be the coordinator and, you know, what type of uh, staff they're going to put together. So it's interesting. It's going to be exciting. Time in Gainesville. Absolutely. Um, you know, everything was going on with Cam Newton, the, the whole allegation thing, and he still won, um, which I, I, I thought was a great deal. Um, what, do you, what is your take on the whole Cam Newton situation? You know, as a player, he's a great player, but people, you know. Yeah, he's a fantastic player, the, the most dominating player that we've seen in college football. You know, you don't have to ask people like uh, myself on TV or journalists. You can ask other college players. I mean, I spent most of last week with a lot of college players. We did the college football award show in Orlando, and obviously we did the highest we show in New York and talked to those guys. And like, hey, this kid is the best player in college. Now, that off-the-field stuff has nothing to do with his performance on the field. That's why I don't really pay as much attention to it. You know, what his dad may have done, may not have done, who knows, and then it doesn't really affect the athlete on the field. Did it give him an advantage? Does he run faster because of it? No, it does not. Right. It's just, you know, um, it's just a part of uh, the NCAA's way of trying to continue to control these athletes and ultimately exploit them through these rules that they have in place. That being said, Auburn, National Championship. You know, I would love to give you an answer right now, but I'm still trying to break that one down. It's, it's power versus speed. Yes, I'm still trying yes. to find a weakness here and yes. weakness there, so I have to let you know that at a later date. Okay, and finally, I am a Ravens fan. I don't know if you watched the game last night. I'm a little worried about my team, so just give me what you think. What do you think, my guys? You know, I think that a game like last night can possibly help them turn the corner because I was surprised that this defense played the way they did in the second half. I mean, obviously, it was, it was a tell of two halves plus an overtime. That's the story of the – as a Ravens fan, that's the story of our season. Yeah, but, you yeah, know. And it's, it's, it's really uh, – it's kind of disappointing to see the defense, you know, not be able to perform in the second half the way they normally have been past years. Uh, you know, I think Ray Lewis and some of the leaders um, on that team is going to have to get that defense together. Like, listen, we got to stay after practice and run some wind splits, sprints or something. We got to do what we got to do. But this is embarrassing. We, we can only put together one solid half of football. Of course, the game ended with the defense coming through with the pick six. But still, it should never even got to that point. I agree. So can I still hold up for my team possibly playing here now? You can still hold up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hour. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Thank you.